Hmm, what's going on at Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to give you guys a quick little update, telling you guys all the latest on Arsenal transfer news today on the 4th of July. Of course, big up to everyone in America celebrating the 4th of July. Big up to you guys. And of course, make sure you hit that like button, people. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's get this show started, as today we're going to just run through everything quite quickly. I will not be doing a live stream today, but tomorrow I will have a special guest on the channel. I'll have Kia, of course, from Football London. He will be in tomorrow. Uh... At 5.30, I'll be doing a live stream with him. And of course, I will also be doing my call-in show tomorrow, most likely at some point in the evening. So please stay tuned for that. There'll be two live streams tomorrow. No live streams today, but make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned. Arsenal are linked to a new defender. Arsenal are linked to a winger from Spain. And of course, updates on Declan Rice. What's taking so long? And Timber. And Thomas Partey might stay, but it might mean... No more midfield signings for Arsenal. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? Let me know in the comment section what you think. Let's get the show started. Here we go. people what's going on hopefully you guys are enjoying these little uploads let me know in the comment section where you're watching from across the world and across the globe let's get this show started first things first uh flo Balligan is reportedly going to be going for around 50 million as reported by sky sports uh arsenal want around 50 million euros for flo Balligan. that's about 45 million pounds that is great value for an, a player that we grew in the academy we didn't pay a penny for that is pure profit imagine 45 million pounds coming into us, our transfer kitty with, of course, Granit Xhaka's money potentially and somebody else's, Kieran Tierney maybe, or maybe even Thomas Partey. We'll talk about that later in the show. But of course, 50 million euros for Balogun. That is some big money. And you know what? I'm happy. Arsenal are saying, this is the valuation for our player. You want our player, come get him. But this is how much it's going to cost you. And let's see how much we sell him for at the end of the transfer window. Do you guys think Balogun is worth 50 million euros? Or do you think we should be selling him for less? Let me know in the comment section. I think that shows some growth from Arsenal's perspective. Next, we have the Joao Cancelo links. Now, we've been linked to Joao Cancelo numerous times. But I thought Timber coming in would mean we're no longer linked to other defenders or other like fullbacks. Could it mean that if Kieran Tierney maybe leaves, we still go in for Joao Cancelo and we go in for him later in the transfer window? Let's wait and see. But reports coming out from the ever, ever so reliable Dean Jones claiming that Arsenal haven't forgotten about Joao Cancelo. And he says that Arsenal are still on uh, uh, keeping an eye on Cancelo and waiting because uh, they're, they're, they're for a deal at this moment in time. We know what the issue was originally was Man City's valuation for Joao Cancelo and Arsenal's valuation for Joao Cancelo were so far apart. We valued the player at around 35 million, where Man City valued the player around 70 million. Nobody in world football is paying around 70 million for Joao Cancelo at this moment in time where he's not even getting a game and Man City want to move him away because he's had some attitude issues and him and Pep reportedly got into a fight last January. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens there, but no real update as reports continue to flurry and say that Arsenal are keeping an eye on the Joao Cancelo situation but I don't think nobody's going to be spending that type of money for Joao Cancelo. Um, there's been so many different reports coming out that Arsenal are keeping an eye on him. Of course, they want to get rid of him. Bayern don't want to bring him back. Arsenal would need to sell some players. Arsenal have, of course, bought in players from Manchester City in the past with Jesus and, and Zinchenko. And there were conversations about Ivan Fresneda, but no real updates on Ivan Fresneda as of late. Haven't really seen any real updates on the Ivan Fresneda front. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens there. Right now, give you guys a quick little update. Arsenal are linked to another winger. This time, the winger is none other than Villarreal's Samuel Chakwesi. Now, if you don't know Chakwesi, Chakwesi has been at Villarreal for a couple of years now, and he's a, a, he. I think he's Nigerian, if I'm not mistaken. If I am not mistaken, he's Nigerian, right? Yes, he's a Nigerian, 24-year-old Nigerian uh, winger. He has been playing at Villarreal for a couple of years now. He's done okay. Uh, uh, like his stats are not mind-blowing. He gets like around four, four to five, uh, four to five goals a, a season, and like five, five to two to five assists. He doesn't really blow you away statistically. But what he is is he's a creator. He's somebody who takes the ball 
uh, drives up the pitch and, and connects the midfield and the attack. Uh, at Villarreal, a team that doesn't really get too many goals, doesn't really get too uh, too many uh, too many chances, he he has been able to produce. But I don't think he's of the level for Arsenal. We do hear links to Chakwezi quite often. The actual report here is saying that they would want to sell the player for around £26 million. And there's links to Liverpool, Newcastle, Arsenal. I don't see Arsenal seriously going in for Chakwezi. That's just me. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if you guys will go for Chakwezi in the comment section. But for me, I don't really see this actually coming to fruition at all. We see the links. We've, I see the links. I've, I've heard a lot of the links, but I don't see that happening. Now, in other news, yesterday we got an update on Declan Rice and Timber. Arsenal are set to complete the transfer for Declan Rice and Julian Timber at the end of the week. What is taking so long? Don't you guys think this is taking forever? Just get it done. Um, but hey, it is what it is. No rush. Uh, as long as the players in before the trans uh, before uh, preseason, we do start preseason in nine days, ladies and gentlemen. Our first game in the preseason is against Newtonburg on the 13th of July. Today's the 4th of July. We have nine days until the until that first game. Um, then you have, uh, what do you call it? He said there's a verbal agreement in place for both Timber and, of course, Declan Rice. Now, with that being said, we always knew once the Declan Rice conversation heats up that we're going to see some uh, some stuff heat up with the Granit Xhaka side of things. So Granit Xhaka is reported to be leaving Arsenal for Bayer Leverkusen for around 21.5 million pounds, which is around 25 million euros. That is a great deal. And once again, broken from uh, Kia was the first to break it. Big up to Kia. We're going to have him on tomorrow to break down everything in more detail, hopefully. But of course, uh, uh, Xhaka will finally accept a long-term move from Bayer Leverkusen to Arsenal for around 21 million pounds. The deal will be done in the very coming few days. We'll see how things escalate from there. And of course, uh, the Timber stuff has been concluded, an agreement in place with Ajax, and we're just waiting for more information from that perspective. Now, let's get into this right here. But before we get into this, I need to, I need to go from uh, and show you this article first. Where is it? Here. So... In order for Lavia to come in, it seems like Thomas Partey will have to leave. Now, my question to everyone is, would you guys sell Thomas Partey in order to bring in Romeo Lavia? Now, the benefits of bringing in Romeo Lavia, he's a young player and he'll age-proof the squad for the foreseeable future. But in the short term, he'll be a downgrade to Thomas Partey, let's be honest. Last year, Thomas Partey was semi-reliable in some of the big games, he wasn't available and he doesn't always perform as well. He's 30 years old, his contract's running out, but at the same breath, he's still one of the best midfielders in the league. He's one of the highest earners at Arsenal also, so there's so many different angles to look at it. You could, there, There's a case to keep Thomas Partey, which is he's still one of our best midfielders and he would keep us. Keeping him would mean we've added squad depth, bringing in Declan Rice, and we haven't subtracted too much from the squad because we're already losing Granit Xhaka. But... If we bring in Romeo Lavia and we get rid of Thomas Partey, we're going to say to ourselves, you know what? We have a player who we don't know if he can. we can rely on him week in, week out. Where Thomas Partey, we know we can rely on him week in, week out. In the short term, we would benefit from keeping Thomas Partey and potentially bring in Romeo Lavia. I would do that. But it doesn't seem like Arsenal are going to bring in Romeo Lavia if we do sell, not sell Thomas Partey, as being reported here. Fabrizio Romano says... Uh, Arsenal will not sign Lavia unless they sell Thomas Partey. It's not uh, time to bid yet. Uh, I'm informed on Romeo Lavia. It is, depends on Thomas Partey. We are, uh, they are working on a potential exit for Partey. So it seems like Arsenal are looking to potentially get rid of Thomas Partey because they are not going to be renewing his contract because of his age because of his issues maybe off the pitch and even on the pitch with his injuries. It could be a situation where Arsenal are looking to get rid of Thomas Partey. But Romeo Lavia is being sniffed around. At this moment in time, he's a hot commodity. Liverpool want him. So many other teams want him. And it just seems like Romeo Lavia could be ending up at any, any club, really. Chelsea are also interested in him. But he has agreed personal terms with Arsenal. We're going to have to see where how this uh, continues. But at this moment in time... 
we are facing strong opposition for Romeo Lavia from Liverpool. Liverpool look to be strong trying to get Romeo Lavia at this moment in time. They've they've cooled their interest on Marcus Tur- on uh, on uh, Kefren Turam to go for Romeo Lavia as Kefren Turam is not a DM where Romeo Lavia is. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens. Let me know in the comment section, would you guys sell Thomas Partey and buy Romeo Lavia? Or would you keep Thomas Partey, let him leave on a free at the end of his contract? Or would you even give him a new contract? Let me know what you guys think we should do with the Thomas Partey situation and the Romeo Lavia situation as that is quickly progressing. Now, just to let you guys know, there is other things also going on at this moment in time that we need to talk about. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like button. If you've gotten this far in the video, let me know what your favorite food is so I can know that you've watched up until this point of the video. And shout out to you guys. I'll make sure I respond to all your comments as I try my best to respond to as many comments as possible. Now, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to some some more some more news and Arsenal are linked to a center back, a defender, another defender who can play in many different positions. Now, who is this defender? You may ask. I've never really heard of him before. He plays for uh, he plays for uh, RB Leipzig. He he can also play on both the right back position and and uh, the the center uh, center back position. He is 26 year old. German international Benjamin um, Henrich, Benjamin Henrich, who plays, who's played in the midfield and sorry, he's not a center back, who's played in the midfield and he's played as a right back and a right wing back. He he's valued for around 15 million euros. Uh, I don't know too much about the player. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but this is quite strange. Why are we interested in another defender? I thought the Timber deal was going to happen and that was probably it. But he's another right-sided defender. He's another right-back who can tuck into the midfield. Has the Timber deal fallen through? Why are we going for this guy? What is going on? Really and truly, I need more answers. I need more information on this. But if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to see where the actual article came from. Here it is. So Arsenal are in talks. Uh, for with the players' management, uh, Mikel Arteta sees the German international as an option. His contract is until 2025. Um, of course, Marco Rose wants to keep him, and yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't really change. It, it doesn't really move the needle for me. I don't really get this transfer. How much he would cost at this moment in time? It's just talks, but. Interesting, interesting, interesting developments that we are now interested in a player that I didn't really know too much about. So let's see where that goes. Keep an eye on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe maybe there's going to be more developments from this in the coming days. We're going to have to wait and see how this uh, how this develops and where it goes from there. But yeah, in other news, in other news, just to let you guys know, Albert Sambi Lokonga's future at Arsenal is still is still up for grabs at this moment in time, as, of course, Albert Sambi Lokonga was loaned out to Crystal Palace last year. Arsenal are looking to loan him out to Burnley, but there is no real updates or reports. Last thing I checked, I seen I seen uh, something here where he posted, oh, what's this? What's this? Arsenal are st- in a strong position to sign Romeo Lavia. Of course, Thomas Partey's future depends on it. Yeah, we know that. Um, what's this? Timber, no update, you know, real update there. We know about the Thomas Partey stuff. But I, the real reason why I wanted to talk about Sambi Lakonga is because of this. Sambi Lakonga's future, uh, he, uh, I will try to go somewhere to play. Important thing, I have games and, uh, and play games after. So he wants to leave himself. He wants to leave himself. He's basically admitting that he wants to leave and get game time. He wants to play first team football. But Sambi Lokonga on his Instagram posting uh, alongside the first team, I'm back with a, with a fist emoji. I don't know how long he's going to be back for, though. I think he's probably going to be moved on very, very soon. But, yeah, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing more to be really breaking down today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's 14 minutes long, quite long video. But, yeah, broke down everything around all the transfer news today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. A little bite-sized video to tell you guys everything you need to know. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my live streams tomorrow. I'm going to have two live streams, one with Kia and a, a, a call-in show. And yeah, that's it for today. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'm out of here. Peace.